Thank you so much to the organizers for inviting me here today. And we're going to start out with today's presentation, which, as Marikas has just said, is about active or healthy aging and what technology can do in this field and what it's going to be doing in upcoming years. So, first and foremost, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Vicomtech. Vicomtech is a technology center. We're here in San Sebastian. There's about 120 researchers working there, and what we do is we develop technologies in the field of uh, communication, and especially in areas of uh, computer vision, artificial intelligence, big data, and language technologies. Today, my talk is divided into two parts. Firstly, I'm going to tell you a little bit about healthy aging and technology. I'll then talk to you about a European project called CAPTAIN. In general, we all know how important uh, aging is and what's happened in, to our society in aging. It's something that's happening in many uh, countries today. In fact, in Kibutko, we have this. In fact, Kibutko nationally, even at a world level, is one of the provinces that has one of the most aged populations. Just one figure, which I think is fairly representative, which is by the year 2030, statistics estimate that the population in Kibutko over our, half that population will be over 50. That's interesting. It just reflects the size of the problem that we're facing. And in that setting, quite clearly, we're going to need new solutions, new tools, with which to provide solutions to the needs of the elderly, who, in short, and as we already know, are in the first place to remain at home as long as possible, uh, be independent, safe, and healthy for as long as possible. They um, want to remain active and connected, connected to society. Well, that's what we mean by that, and motivated. Of course, all the tools that we develop need to be able to adapt, because aging is a dynamic process. We need to be able to adapt to that uh, process, and important as well is to ensure that we, what we develop is sustainable, economically uh, sustainable as well. So the care that we offer is sustainable as well. As we saw this morning in several presentations, we currently live uh, right, at, we're immersed in a technological boom. There's a, there's a whole wave of new technologies, technology, big data, language technology, smart wearables, blockchain. That's just a few that I wanted to mention, but we've seen many more today. So the ch today's challenge, today's main challenge is to use all these technologies to create value for the elderly. Commercially, as we've already seen earlier, one of the elements that's uh, are coming to the fore is this idea of virtual assistance. Many, many uh, large companies are concentrating all their eggs in that basket. And it's impressive to see how just in a very short space of time this technology is becoming more and more used. And I now want to show you just a small example which perhaps is representative of the possibilities that technology offers us. Let's just show it. How was your day, Susan? You look tired. I'll play some relaxing tunes for you. Thank you, Mikey. So, what's on for the weekend? I checked your calendar. No business meetings. Ah. But tomorrow, you are attending your sister's birthday. I'd like to bake something. What do we have? I checked the fridge. There's not much in there. I suggest carrot cupcakes with a nice cream cheese frosting. Ooh, that looks good. With Mikey's support and his step-by-step -step recipes, kitchen work is easier and more intuitive than ever before. Due to Mikey's voice operation and projection possibilities, he is always hands-on and the perfect kitchen assistant. Due to Home Connect, Mikey can operate all your home appliances. Muy bien. It's just an example so that you can see where we're heading in the future. We're increasingly integrating new technologies in the products that we've uh, developed. This is a good example because it has all sorts of technologies integrated into it. It's connected to the different electrical appliances. It can control them remotely and it also connects to the internet and allows uh, 
interaction uh, via audio with the person that operates it. So, to conclude, it's quite clearly that there's a lot of technologies out there, and now our challenge is to adapt these technologies to the needs of older people and apply them as we saw. Well, we'll be able to apply them to all the different uh, daily day day-to-day -day activities. I'm now going to talk to you about our project, which is CAPTAIN project. CAPTAIN is a European project, is a Horizon 2020 project, and for those of you who don't know Horizon 2020, basically what is this is a program where the European Commission sets out its research agenda for Europe. And uh, thanks to this agenda, the European Commission sets out challenges, challenges so that uh, consortiums can be set up and we can broach the challenges that are proposed to us by the European Commission. More specifically, in this field, three challenges have been set up. The first is to convert uh, homes, uh, homes into smart uh, environments, assistive environments, and other challenges to try to carry on facilitating interaction with people. And the third challenge is to take a step further than a virtual assistance and evolve uh, with a new concept which the European Commission has called a virtual coach. These are virtual assistants that are proactive, that detect our needs and that help us to uh, achieve our personal goals, which may be health, go health goals or whatever goal we fancy. I'm now going to try to show you this video, which is the best way of summarizing the Captain Project. I am Captain, and with my team, we are going to help you on your daily activities by transforming your home into a smart assistant whenever and wherever you need it. We all know how important it is for you to live at your homes as long as possible, performing your daily activities with high confidence and as a result, increased quality of life. However, this is not always possible. Retaining your physical, cognitive and social well-being remains a challenge. Even worse, in some cases you end up in a nursing home. A lot of solutions have been proposed over the last years. However, some of them seem to be feasible only under lab settings. Other solutions, renovate your home which then looks like a home from the future, not reminding your cozy place. And finally, other solutions make you look like a robot which is not what you are looking for your daily lifestyle. Captain uses microprojectors to provide a smart assistant when even and wherever you need it. Based on your activity, leaving the environment without changes when there is no need. All surfaces become tangible interfaces for personalized information, reminders and communication, even when brushing teeth or reading a book which is projected on the wall when you go to bed. Coordinated by the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, works on changing the future of smart homes and assistive coaching. I am the captain and I am welcoming you on board. Perfecto. Pues entonces, tal como acabamos de ver... As we've just seen, this captain project, the, what the idea is to capture and understand what's happening at home, what are the most important events that we have at home without people but it's completely transparent for the user. The second aim of this uh, project is to guide people in along different times in the day when they need special help in a non-obtrusive way. And of course, thirdly, we want to motivate uh, elderly people to help them to stay at home, to keep their physical, cognitive and social well-being. It's a three-year project. We're currently at the first year of the project. We've finished the design stage and now we're moving on to the uh, phase in which we integrate uh, Captain and then we'll validate the Captain project at the end. So here we're showing you some images of the designs that we're working on. As you've seen, this is a predictive system that incorporates uh, sensors and with this we're able to obtain more information. So, in summary, the captain system has three main components. First of all, the user interface that has been going to be projective, tangible, and emotional. What does this mean? That we're going to focus on technologies 
to use uh, what we have in the home as working surfaces. It's going to be tangible. We're going to be able to interact with those screens and it's going to be emotional because we always obtain or want to have an emotional result and for it to be as user-friendly as possible. And secondly, we're going to integrate uh, several tools to uh, capture and analyze emotional, behavioral, physiological, and uh, movement data. All of this data is going to be analyzed to be able to provide support to the user and to um, finally, uh, the third aim is to have a virtual coach to be able to provide assistance to the person in his or her home in the moment in which they need uh, help in a specific task. That could be physical, cognitive, nutritional, or uh, social aspects. So the CAPTAIN uh, system that we are now developing has uh, made up of two things. One is the CAPTAIN box score, which is the main element. You have one per home, and then we have the uh, satellite captain box and you will have one per room. The main uh, element is where you have the captain system integrate and the satellite is where we have all the mechanisms and interaction technology. It can be a projection system or a computer artificial vision systems as well as a language recognition systems. And uh, mm, how are we going to create a virtual coach? In the project, we are working and collaborating with a relevant group of uh, aging experts. These experts have defined several coaching strategies. And from their own words, for each user, we will uh, appoint a specific uh, coaching strategy taking into account of their profile and each uh, coaching strategy will go through specific uh, interventions and in the monetization technology we will uh, be able through that to send recommendations that will help this person to carry out those um, daily chores and finally uh, there are several technologies i would like to speak about that we are now integrating in the captain system the first uh, technology is a technology of artificial vision that is able to understand different events or uh, situations of interest. For example, right now, it's uh, detecting this person getting up from bed. It can also detect other more dangerous situations like uh, falls or special situations uh, like people that are wandering through the house. The second uh, technology we're integrating is uh, facial recognition technology. With this technology, we're able to analyze the uh, face of the users. With this uh, virtual mask, we're able to quantify the gestures uh, that they're making. And thus, we're able to infer their emotional status. We're also processing uh, the... Um, mm -hmm eyes and with that information we're able to identify who is the person interacting and uh, finally this is another technology that i would like to talk about and that is uh, beyond the main uh, projectors we're also working with this, this new kind of a uh, hologram projectors and these are 3D projectors. Through these mechanisms we're able to create 3D environments and we can uh, see them in a very uh, natural manner. If you look to your right you see several buttons that are also virtual and through gestures the user is able to interact with the system. So here you can see the different kinds of uh, projections and the different alternatives that we are integrating in the system. And that was everything I wanted to explain today. Thank you.